Hey there folks and good morning and welcome back for another shaving video and today we're going to use Soap Commander Respect Shaving Soap and that is the lime and patchouli. Excellent scent. Comes to you at about uh, 15 bucks or 250 an ounce which is excellent and when you can get soaps of this quality for $2.50 an ounce to me it pretty much render soaps that are $5 an ounce obsolete. I just don't have any reason to spend that kind of money when you can get soaps um, like this at this sort of price, which is excellent. Great scent on this. Um, I believe the scent strength is about um, eight out of 10. Wonderful lime and patchouli scent. And as you know, or of course you should know, if you don't, uh, the Cybrits are excellent people. Um, across the board, truly <laughs> salt of the earth. I can't think of a thing uh, bad to say about them, nor would I. Just really excellent people. So I'm always happy when I buy a Sub Commander product and I'm supporting really good people. And uh, that means something to me. All right, it's like we got a good load on our uh, Wolf Whiskers TSC brush. Ah, love this scent, this is wonderful. All right. We're going to use, uh, by the way, today, the Above the Tie um, S2 slant and let us uh, wet the face and we shall get going. Stay tuned. Oh, and every now and then I'll show you. Yes, we're shaving today. There's double there. We do this every day. And there's double there every day. All right, a little more water there. And let's get real. Oh, I love this scent. I really do. It's just light and bright. And this time of year is not my favorite time of year, but these bright scents sort of uh, give me a little happiness because it's getting to that point where a blanket of, you know, gray clouds come in. And you don't see the sun till about March. And for me, that is not a good time of year because I like the sunshine and also in shaving all the <laughs> All the fall scents come out, which are usually darker and earthier, which I don't care that much for. So this time of year is not the best for me. So when I'm using my lighter and brighter scents, that sort of gets my day going. Boy, what a wonderful lather. Soap Commander. Excellent stuff. Nice and thick on the first pass here. Excellent stuff. Anyhow. Yeah, a sense like this really brightened my day and uh, gets the day started off in a positive manner. I just don't care that much for fall scents. I have a few, but by and large, I just don't just don't like the way they smell. Um, there are some great ones out there that are, you know, adored by people. It's truly. Um, a subjective thing, you know, sense whether you like them or not. Um, I have a few that I like. I think Barrister Man is the best at it. That's just my opinion. Those sort of scents, sort of uh, what they do best, I believe. So, but there are other soap makers like Katie's Bubbles and you know, Sterling and I don't know, all sorts of other folks that make up. Uh, very nice fall scents too, so you know, check those out as well if you like those sort of scents. Again, they're not my thing, but um, I do recognize the talent it takes to make those sort of scents. Not you know, not not everyone just wants to make lime and orange, which those are just my favorites. I would love to see like Barrister Man just doing a straight orange or a straight lime. Don't know if they ever will because, you know, they really like to do their own thing, but I would love to see that. All right. So the first pass was outstanding with our above the top. Um, slant, that's a Astra Blade riding in there, by the way. Okay, let's rinse the face, come back for past two. Guys, I got to tell you, it's hard to turn on the television now at this election time. I mean, it can't be over soon enough. Good grief. Like, um, constantly bombarded now with all the Trump grope stuff. And then on the other side, you have uh, 
Hillary and all the leaks that show she's not exactly what she sets herself out to be and, you know, what she uh, presents herself as. Uh, her folks, you know, John Podesta involved in a lot of questionable and underhanded stuff, referring to people in less than stellar terms, minorities, and, you know, it, it just, it shows folks to be fake and fraudulent, and I can't vote for either one of them. Can't do it. These are the two poorest candidates that we've seen in my lifetime, I believe. Now, I realize that on a policy level, um, some folks will prefer Trump um, because, you know, bring the jobs back, protecting the Second Amendment, a strong military. I agree with those things. But he's such a flawed candidate. I can't vote for him. And then on the other hand, you have Hillary, who's, you know, more inclined to, um, you know, social issues and, um, excuse me. She also she says she wants a small, uh, strong military, all these sorts of things. Um, they all claim they want to bring back jobs, always. So, yeah. but the bottom line is, she too is so damaged as a candidate that uh, I can't, in good conscience, vote for her either. So it'll be a third-party candidate of some sort, or. A, or write in who knows what. There are those who say you're wasting your vote. That's okay. It's my vote to waste. But as long as we continue to accept these two parties and that they can be the only options, we're going to continue to do this. So people ever wake up and go, you know what? I'm not happy with the Democrats or Republicans because both of them, quite frankly, have shit the bed. And really pushing for, you know, libertarian candidates and constitutionalists and all that. You know, it's funny, and I'll hit this point when I come back. Stay tuned. It's, it's really not funny. It's sad that um, the Constitution wasn't brought up in their debates until almost the end of the second debate. The Constitution, the, you know, to me, one of the most important things... you know, the, the foundation of our country. And, and neither one of them have had much to say about the Constitution and liberties, and that's the most important thing to me. I want a candidate who's going to uphold the Constitution and our liberties, and neither one of them have had much to say uh, during their campaigns or their debates. It's like the document doesn't exist. It's like our foundation is irrelevant to them. So again, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. But I will vote. Will vote. All right. Now let's talk about the soap. Uh, the soap is performing excellent, in excellent fashion, I should say. Very, very nice, as is the razor and blade. Once again, it's, you know, it's one of those, um, it's one of those shades where you're just really happy to be using good equipment and feel fortunate to do so, I might add. Um, it's an embarrassment of riches, you know, to have all this great stuff. It really is. It's glad to see we have uh, Claudio back in Razor and Brush. His account was compromised. People, if you're on Facebook, or in fact, uh, YouTube and any of these social media platforms, I highly recommend you enable dual factor authentication of some type. Some of them call it second, uh, or I can't remember what they call it. It's not always called dual factor authentication. So some of them call it verification, but I do recommend that you enable that. And that prevents, or at least helps prevent somebody from jacking your account, which happened to, uh, Claudio, so uh, look in the options for that or Google how to do it on your social media platforms. I recommend it highly. Doesn't mean you're 100% safe, but it does help. 
tremendously. Because essentially what it does is, like for example on Facebook, if you log in, in from an IP or a computer that it doesn't recognize, it will ask for a code, which is uh, which you then enter that comes from your Facebook app, and you already have to be logged in to get it. And, and you know, it's just making sure it's you. You can also go on Facebook and look at all the places you're logged in. So I recommend that you do that. All right. Wonderful shave. Wonderful shave today. Great, great stuff. Stuff coming. Stay tuned. We'll come back with the post. All right. So that was outstanding. Today we're going to use our peach there, sent to me by Zach Plavridis. Good friend. Excellent stuff. Great scent. I really like it. It's got a wonderful peach scent. And it works really, really nicely. For me, and while I let that sit for just a second, once again, we'll go over uh, the soap here. Soap Commander Respect. Outstanding. Um, I really like it a lot. And I, I strongly uh, appreciate what uh, Karen, or Carrie <laughs> and Darren do. I always mess up their names. I don't think I did this time. Yes, I did. I said called her Karen. It's crazy. So today we're going to use an inexpensive um, aftershave citrus musk, musk, which works uh, very well with the Respect soap. Smells great. And again, for me, I like this bright stuff. It sort of gives me a little ray of sunshine <laughs> where it's, like I said, we're getting into that period of time where it's gray. It reminds me of what I perceive or my perception of Seattle is. Now, I've not been to Seattle, and I don't know this, but in the movies and stuff, it's always dark, dreary, rainy. I don't like that kind of weather. And I realize Seattle's not that way all the time, but that's sort of what they lead us to believe. And it gets that way here from about late October all the way into about March. You know, and by April, it's starting to warm up and the sun comes out now and then. Oh, I, I hate that time of year. But then again, it's great to be alive and shaving using this wonderful stuff. So there's always something to be happy about. Okay. Thanks, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday. And until next time, let's make America shave again. And even in Movember, let's shave this Movember. Don't grow that stuff out. Donate your money to, you know, men's health. Uh, advocate, advocate for men's health. But shave, shave, shave. That's what we do. We shave. We don't grow. We shave. We grow and then we shave, I, said, I should say. Anyway, make America shave again.